can uh, use or uh, exploit. And guess what? That produces, to the degree that you're willing to actually look into it and find out that's really true, that's really what's happening, a whole new self-control just came over you as a result of knowledge you didn't have before. And that's exactly, I had a friend who was going to be a PE coach many, many years ago. Uh, he was my age, so he was still studying to do this. It was his goal. And one of the things he had to learn about was nutrition and, and what's good for you and what's bad for you. And so we were out having a bite to eat one time, and he looked at what I was eating. He said, if you knew what that's doing to your body, you wouldn't eat that. And I'm like, really? He says, yeah, I used to eat that too, you know. And he says, but I found, it was French fries. We were at a fast food place, and I was, you know, I'm just hung, 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 and eating the French fries. He says, he says, I used to eat that way too, but I've, I, I had to learn this class. And the more I learned what the different foods and the way things break down in your body and what they become and the different, you know, and he starts giving me all the jargon. He's saying, yeah, that becomes this sort of thing and that, this, and, it becomes, and I'm like, wow. And he says, it, it, it gives you a self-control you didn't used to have because of the knowledge you just gained. The more you know, the more you're like, I'm not putting that in my body anymore. Anyway, that's how come add to your faith virtue and to virtue add knowledge and to knowledge add self-control. Self-control is the direct result of the more you know, the more in control you're going to be. And guess what comes after self-control? To self-control add endurance, patience. So add your faith virtue, to virtue add knowledge. To knowledge, self-control, to self-control, endurance, to endurance, add godliness, to godliness, add brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness, add love. So, by the time you've gotten as far as self-control, the next thing you got to do is add endurance because it's going to just be a cycle. You're going to have to keep on doing this. And uh, my wife and I often... And so does Mark Verkley. He, he mentions this in one of the talks I heard that I first uh, learned of him, is that you're going to be tested. God just always tests us. And Mark Verkley said, I wish the day would come when we didn't have to go through any more tests. And I'm like, hey, I hear you, brother. Uh, <laughs> because tests are a drag. But it's the way this thing works that God leads us into the wilderness. He allows us or suffers us to hunger in order that he might prove us to see whether or not or first to teach us that man does not live by bread only, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God does man live. As much as we need physical food for our bodies every day, we need spiritual food from God's mouth every day. We need to hear his voice. It's, it's as important to our spirit man as physical food is to our physical man. And a lot of people have been ever learning, never coming to a knowledge of the truth because they don't have that spiritual supernatural connection. God is spirit. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So when you add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge and to knowledge self-control and to self-control endurance and to endurance godliness to godliness brotherly kindness to brotherly kindness love. If these things be in you and abound they shall make you that you should neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of him. But he that lacks these things is blind and cannot see afar off and has forgotten that he was purged from his old sins. I think that's the Laodicean church. It doesn't say that they're not a part of the church. They just forgot that they were purged and they're going all about trying to do good works or trying to uh, compensate for their sense of uh, you know, unworthiness or whatever it might be. And um, you can do a lot of works that are not wrought of God. A lot of people doing religion and doing things God never asked them to do. But he wants you to do, his yoke is easy, his burden is light. He'll tell you what he wants you to do. You've got to listen. And when he tells you, do it. And do that list. And you'll find it's the easiest thing. It gets so easy. His yoke is easy, his burden is light. Whatever he tells you to do, do it. And when you do, you'll gain knowledge you never could get any other way. And the knowledge will lead to self-control you could never have any other way. And that's why, here's what this part, this is the conclusion. You overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of your testimony. What you're going to find you have as you do this, you're going to you're gonna have a testimony that's as real to you that no one can ever take from you, no one can ever say you didn't go through this, no one can ever say you didn't learn from this, no one can ever say that God didn't come through for you. You will have a testimony that is as real to you as Peter walking on water was to him. 
Nobody could ever say, ah, oh, you didn't walk on water. Hey, dude, I was there. I got out of that boat. I walked on freaking water, man. You know, that would change you. That would make you a believer. If you walked on water because Jesus said, hey, come on out here. And you just, Lord, what do you want me to do? Walk on the water with me. Come on out. Ah, you know, and he says, Peter, why'd you double think? Why'd you doubt? You were doing great. Well, you looked around at the wind and the waves, you know. So whatever he tells you to do, just do it. Just do it. And you will gain a testimony. And that's how you overcome, by those two things. The blood of the Lamb, make sure you're doing whatever he says to do, and you're applying the blood of the Lamb to your life, and you're not treating it as an, un, uh, an unvaluable thing. Jesus said, if you, if you put anything ahead of me, you're not worthy of me. You haven't, uh, you haven't confessed me before men. So confess me before men, put me ahead of everything else in your life, and don't worry about what people think. That's confessing him before men, not just putting a bumper sticker on your car or singing hallelujah or a church or something and claiming you're a Christian. Anybody could do that, you know. But be willing to put up with whatever people will say or do to you. And I'll tell you, your foes will be those of your own household. Uh, they'll put you out of the synagogues and they'll, they'll, you know, claim all kinds of bad things about you, which I had to endure, I had to go through. But Jesus said, hey, no servant's greater than their, their master. That's how they, you know if you're really doing this or not. Um, there should be fruit in your life and there should be persecution. And if they treated the servant, I mean, if they treated the master that way, they're going to treat his servants that way. But rejoice. Your reward in heaven is great. It's worth it. It is worth it. And as you're learning to do this, you will have a testimony. And as you speak your testimony everywhere you go to anyone who wants to hear it. And I've got, man, I got story after story after story of things that have happened to me as a result of hearing God's word, hearing his voice, obeying what he said to do, and then you gain a testimony because you did that. And that's how you overcome. The blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony, you'll overcome everything. And that's part of that is putting on the whole armor of God. I could talk a whole bunch more about what putting on the whole armor of God really is and what it isn't. So I might make another video about that if you want. But um, this one's gone on long enough. I hope that answers your question. If, if, if there's anything I haven't covered yet and, and answered, uh, just uh, make a note of it and I'll, I'll, I'll do some more. I hope this helps and God bless you and, uh, and stay in touch, okay? I love you guys. Bye-bye.